I had some freaking awesome dreams last night, man. Uh, first one, I was uh, cruising down the road, and it seemed like I had four or five people in the back of my car. Uh, not in the back, you know, but like sitting in the car with me, and uh, but they're in the back seat. And we were driving down the road, and I was cruising, just cruising my mobile. And uh, all of a sudden, the road went from kind of a hazy fog to absolute beautiful, swampy, pristine, swampy landscape. And the road was this uh, uh, transparent, like glassy road with like little tiny stones on the edges, riding just suspended above. The, the water, just above the air. It was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It took my breath away. And I was riding and riding, and we were right in the middle of it, middle of this road. And uh, all of a sudden, it began to crumble in the middle and out, and everybody's like, here it comes. And I had no idea what was, what was happening. But for some reason, it was okay. I felt like my body knew what to do. And so we just started... Uh, falling like nose first towards the water it was okay and then we hit the water and the car must have disappeared and disintegrated or something and we were all in this underwater world and the car must turn into like five big rings with kind of little tiny blue lights on the outside of the rings um, and and they dispersed throughout the water and I remember having the feeling nobody explained but that we each had to find a ring in order to survive and and some people stayed at the surface of those rings two particular rings just kept falling and falling and falling and falling into the descent into the dark uh, ocean and I felt like it was okay I needed to fall deep into this ocean and find this ring and I fall and I swim down and swim down and swim down and then I find, I, when I finally get to it I don't think about how far I've gone until until after I find it and um, I was aware of the depth the whole time but, and, but the, it turned into a different world it wasn't quite Atlantis but it was, a, it was a whole world of underwater activity and brilliancy between creature folk and and then um, these wa these rings had power to them. Uh, I've, I've transported, sort of transporting between worlds. I don't remember the first two, but the third world, I was in an, just the. De everyday ordinary department store um, walking around the perfume aisles and stuff like that and clothes racks and uh, Bill was with me and I, I, I kind of told him I hinted and explained this very vaguely this world and we're not in that we're not in what world we think we are we're actually in a different world and we're kind of like avatars to that other world and and I, told, I explained to him in a few minutes, I'm about to, uh, a ring is about to appear around my body and I'm about to float up through the vents and then go back to my actual reality. And, uh, and Bill just kind of let, uh, laughed his laugh and, you know, being the good guy he is. And, uh, didn't really say much about it, much. And, uh, and some, Salesman in like a, a big circus, big old uh, like red and white stripe, like candy circus uh, hat and shirt and all uh, was was being obnoxious about selling this and selling that to us, and he's trying to refute my proposal and. And I think I, I don't remember too much what happened after that, but I think I floated right up to the vents and back.
back to this other world. Just a world that seems kind of like Mallory's house, but it's like a party going on. A bunch of people I didn't know. And... and, uh... Man, I don't quite remember. Gosh, other than I woke up, that's what it was. I woke up and it was 8 o'clock in the morning. And that's exactly what time I wanted to wake up.